Welcome back to How To Authority. Now, the world is a very divided place nowadays, but if there's one thing we can all agree on is that we all hate ads. But the issue is you can't escape from ads, not even on your smartphone's operating system. So that is why today I'll be showing you how to remove some of the more annoying marketing pop-ups on your Samsung device. First off, you obviously want to go into your settings menu, which is this cogwheel right here. So just tap on that. And then right in the top, you'll find this option right here, notifications. So just tap on that again. And right at the top, you'll see app notifications. So just go into there. Then give it a while and all your apps you currently have on your phone will load. Now, the first thing you want to definitely disable is Samsung Push Services, which is the app that the operating system uses to push most system notifications. However, that of course means that if you're heavily reliant on native Samsung apps, it means that they may not send any notifications either. So do this at your own risk, basically. However, you may notice it doesn't actually appear in this list. Ah, that is because you first have to go into these three dots right here and then go show system apps and only then it will appear. Scroll all the way down until you get to it and then simply turn off notifications for that app. Again, as I mentioned earlier, it can have some adverse effects, but it's a great way of getting rid of all those annoying marketing pop-ups. This method is also great for getting rid of notifications from any other apps that just send way too many marketing pop-ups. Galaxy Themes is an egregious example of this, and I get way too many notifications from them. So thankfully you can turn it off, just like you could turn off those Samsung push services by finding it on this list, and then turning it off just like that. Now, if you don't know which apps specifically are responsible for the various marketing notifications you get, there's another way of finding it out. By simply clicking on that all in the top left, you can then sort by most frequent instead, showing you the apps that are most frequently sending you notifications, so you know which ones you need to disable. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about how to disable marketing pop-ups on your Samsung device. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe to How To Authority for more like this in the future.